Hey everybody. So I've got another booster box here of MetaZoo's UFO. Uh, in this video series, this would be number two of uh, the number of booster boxes I've opened for MetaZoo. So they, they printed these pretty heavily and uh, I really like this set, but I've been enjoying crushing, a, crushing it out and building a pretty massive uh, UFO collection. So I hope you enjoy this with me. I don't think this will take very long, this video. I, uh, I think I can crush out this booster box pretty quickly here. I'm extremely tired at this point, so I'm excited to open this up and enjoy this little bit of fun and then go up to my bed and sleep. Here we go. Again, I like that they have this, uh, the little sticker that was sent up to space. That's always cool on these booster boxes. I like that, that MetaZoo does that. They find some way to make this just a little bit more interesting for each booster box. Now, I haven't opened much Seance. In Canada, there's a lot less options on where you can buy some of this stuff, so... Gosh, I love how easy these packs are to open. Okay, let's crush this out. Earth Shattering Quake, Forest Elemental, Wolf Among Sheep, Beastie Cat, Sabertooth Tiger. There's the Alien Bigfoot. I like that guy. That reminds me of Rudy. Eye for an Eye, Tinfoil Hat, and a Van Meter Visitor. Awesome. I love this guy. It's a great card to get. And another Van Meter Visitor. Sweet. That is pretty dang sweet. Okay, next pack. Slide this guy over here. That's a good card to hit. I uh, I enjoy that card. It's it's one of my favorite ones out of the set. I would say. Headless Cannoneer, Rising Tides, Speed Demon, Call of the Storm, Dusk's Omen with the awful. San Pedro Mountain Mummy, and an Evil Winds. I love how this card looks. This looks so cool. Yeah, the pinks and purples. Poncho. Poncho's the artist here, and I think this is just a really cool card as far as cards go. I will always enjoy getting more of those. Tree Token, Area 51. Love my Area 51 cards. By Afton. I don't know much about Afton. But I do appreciate his Area 51 card, or her. Or there, I should say. Here we go. Boulder Bash. Johnny Appleseed. Laser Beam Upgrade. Sherman Beast. Bask in the Sunlight. Oh, I love this energy being. That's a cool card. That is a pretty sweet card. The White Stag. I love that White Stag also. And an Omen Street Orb. Okay, this is one of the arts that I love in this set. It's got a bit of a Cthulhu sort of vibe to it. It's a cool one. Mountain Boomer is in the rare slot. Okay, we've got a Devoid Potion, a Grunch Road Monster, a Robo Flowers, Sam's Trusty Baseball Bat, Bask in the Sunlight, Lebok Lights, Static Halt, and a Sparky Slushy. That's a big meh for me in the Leveland Rocket. Friend Token, Island, Lightning Aura. Yeah, I don't know what that uh, Sparky Slushy. Kind of reminds me of Lightning from Nightfall. Got enough of them. Okay, we've got a Caramel Area Creature, an Invigorate, Unwanted Guests, Seven Thunders. Blue Jet Strike, Mysterious Disappearance, The Resurrection from the Afterlife, A Chicken with Its Head Cut Off, and, oh, behind there, <gasps> cool, yes, I don't have this card, that's awesome, it was stuck to the back, you know, this isn't the first time this has happened, okay, story time, so when I got my first Mothman out of the second edition, I, I can't afford, I, I, I not just can't afford, I just, uh, 
I'm not willing to risk the money to buy a booster box or first edition stuff. I'll just buy those cards separately. But when I got my first Mothman out of a second edition, it was like this where there was powder all over it. And it had a little, it had a little cutout on the bottom that had some sort of Chinese writing on it. Um, that, like a little piece of paper that was kind of attached that kind of fell off after. But it's weird how so like this is the card I this is one of the cards I've been looking for and there it was attached to the back of that uh, other card so I'm super happy about this this is like this box is already a a winner to me because I do not have this card that is excellent mini T Rex I don't even I'm not even a fan of this guy I put him above Griddle Greaser Pete so I'll consider mini T Rex to be a step above Griddle Greaser Pete but that's what I'm gonna give it I'm just happy to have it. Okay, we got a Boulder Dash, Boulder Bash, I mean, Gruntrode Monster, Rugaru, The Ocean Calls, Accordion Eater, a Giant Space Brains, a Token Corrosion, and a Pocket Dimension Orb. Another orb. That one, I would say, like, these orbs look great. That's pretty cool. It's got some meteorites in there, some sort of a galaxy opening. The orbs, they nailed. I would almost say that they're probably for, um, for like, artifact-type cards from any set. I think that they're probably my favorite from any of the UFO sets so far. Now, there's supposed to be an announcement sometime soon about MetaZoo having a TV show. But I don't know what's happening with that. I haven't been staying too up-to-date uh, with MetaZoo. I've been kind of all over the place, busy in my personal life. This is the one thing that I've been taking time out of my day to sort of do at the end. Ooh, Sunset Finality Orb, reverse. And a Gargantian Glider. But I do, uh, I am in a couple of discords, and one of them... Um, I kind of listen to what all the other guys. I, I there's I get a summary essentially in the day of what's going on. I hear what's going on in the Discord. I'm not banned from the Discord, and I haven't been banned yet. But uh, I also just sort of keep a low profile in there. Terraforming. I don't know if I've seen this one before. Interesting. Kodiak dinosaur. Dusk Soman with that awful. The green fireballs. I don't recognize that one, but uh, oh well. Spirit infusion suit. Got lots of those guys. That's going to be... That's with Sparky Slushy. I'd put that up there with Sparky Slushy in terms of uh, my excitement over that specific card. Croco Dingo. Hidden Templars. Riverside Monster. Sky Snake, Casablanca Entities, the Polybius, Spirit Shadow, and a Proctor Valley Monster. You are, yeah, you're on the same level of that spear, Spirit Infusion Suit. I like this one too. This guy's pretty sweet. Check that out. Who did this? Chris Campman. That's pretty sweet, Chris. Yeah, there's a couple of really cool art. I think UFO is going to be one of the most overlooked ones. And um, I, under, I understand why some people are overlooking it. But I also, I don't know, I do feel like it, it's kind of been, it was kind of passed up. And I remember when uh, when they released it, like the day after uh, they started hyping Seance. Magic Engineer's Oil, I like that card. That's cool. I would consider that a win. That's up there with Evil Wins. Um I almost felt like, oh man, like UFO is over, I guess. Um, and now we're on to the next one. And Seance looks awesome. Don't get me wrong. Like I, I think Seance looks really, really cool as a set. But uh, I think this one's the most overlooked. Wilderness wasn't so much my gig. Although I do like the Akanto Dragon and I like uh, the Cumberland Dragon, Bigfoot. UFO, I'm sorry, I think it's even growing on me more. I was a little bit more critical when it first came out. Static Snowstone, you know, this is the one reverse hollow I've got so many of. And that Dragon's Rise.
Hey, Cosmic lighting, Lightning Cyclone, Forest Elemental, Robo Flowers, Sam's Trusty Baseball Bat, Crop Circles, Dusk's Omen, The Green Fireballs, Anastatic Snow, The Opposite, this is a full hollow. Cool. Okay, that guy I would consider, eh, he's a meh to me. City, some friends tokens, so great. I'm going to move this pile of cards. Breakfast Aliens. I love the alien cards. The Greys, yes. Roswell Recreation. Look at this stack in here. This is amazing. The Seven Thunders. Darn, I thought it was going to continue on with the alien vibes. Kodiak Dinosaur. Frost Ring. The USO and a Pamela. Pamela, I would put with... Hmm, where do I want Pamela? I'll put it with the Van Meter. That's a cool card to get. Water Submergence. Friend Token. Forest Flame Aura. It's a pretty good box so far. Um... All the, yeah, all these UFO boxes are pretty good boxes, but what I would say is this one's, this one's pretty decent. It's got a good variety. It's a Galactic Space Council. I just love seeing the alien stuff. That's my favorite. And, I mean, the, the Loveland Frogman is pretty awesome, too. Blighted Embers. Lebok Lights. San Pedro Mountain Mummy. <gasps> yes, I got two of them. Oh, yes. That is Fantastic. Gosh. Man, I should, oh, let's just talk about this card too. So there's a, looks like a cow being abducted in the backyard. Oh, that looks like Babe the Blue Ox. And there's a robot underneath his tail here. And there's a fire hydrant. We've got ranch attack. If you are in the American Southwest, this beastie deals plus 10 attack damage. This is pretty cool. This is a pretty cool guy. I'm glad I got two. I had none earlier and now I've gotten two. What a lucky box. There they are. I've been looking for that guy for a while and now I am psyched. Okay, I've got a burnout. A Felix Stout Fire Demon. A Rogaru. Sky Snake. Oh, I'll center this a bit more. There's that bookmark blue. Those look like the the men in black that i don't think i'm gonna pull that card I'm, I'm kind of past it at this point another static snow okay glistening beach rock and i always check these guys in this case this is a cool one too look at that art it's beautiful who did that jeff yates Yeah, it seems like uh, the future of MetaZoo is pretty positive right now. Like, as of today. Uh, I know that maybe a week ago uh, I've seen some grumblings, but I'm hoping that they, uh, they're they able to, to work through that. I think there's a, it's, they've really got magic in our, magic in a bottle? They've really gotten something special here. And if, if they can continue to just get it, what's the word I want to use? If they can continue down this path of positivity that they've been, that they've taken a change towards not that they've been negative but you know what i mean like that a hey, water submergence got lots of those guys that uh i think that this could i i actually truly believe in this game and i truly believe in this as a product and as, as an ip i think they've actually got something very very cool here it's just uh you know i also get that there's shipping issues there's yeah that kind of stuff doesn't reflect well. I come from a, I'm not a business background, but I work in a pretty big organization. And I know that like if a product isn't delivered, I remember when I got the, uh, back to Kickstarter, people were saying, there was this one guy that would always reply on the Kickstarter when people would say, where's my product, you know, upset. And he'd say, they don't even have to ship you your product. And I don't think he realized how bad that looks even saying that for them. It actually makes it to defend, to defend a company to, from not shipping a product when they're actually, they're not even a, a random Kickstarter. It's a fully grown company. Like this is a company that's putting on this Kickstarter. 
And to have somebody come in there and say something like that, I always felt like it was, I, I just don't, I don't understand it. Because when I, if a company doesn't provide the product and, you know, or communicate where the product's going, it's bad for business. That's, you don't need to be in business. Oh, I love the tinfoil suit with the green clawed monster. I love that monster. I am. Um, if you can't provide it, yeah, there's a, if you cannot provide the product, which I'm not saying that as you were doing this, I'm more talking I, just in general to this one person, then you're going to lose customers. And it's harder to win a customer back than to gain new ones. And, and, and especially for these smaller TCGs, I mean, like you got to grow the space and, and maybe when you're at the point of like where Magic the Gathering is, you can start to really really throw a, a wrench into things and continue but let's take a closer look at this i think metazoo can do it is what i'm trying to say i've got faith i have faith in this that looks pretty cool laser beam upgrade it looks like a monster's holding that laser beam the seven thunders bask in the sunlight the bach lights there's that white stag and 33. We've already got one of those. A couple of them. Ooh, I love this. I know I, I think I already looked at one with on this video, but just look at that art. That's fantastic. That's so cool. Same with that guy. We've already looked at that though. Yeah, this box is a good box. That mini T-Rex, two of them. Gosh. What a great way to, to continue here. Riverside Monster, Sherman Beasts, Crawfordsville Monster, the Bach Lights, the Haddock Goblin, and a Hat Man. I love me a Hat Man. I like this card so much. Oh, I like that. I love how this looks. The Hat Man is awesome. Looks like he's growing out of the ground or something. There's little hands coming out of there. Tip of the cap, zero. This attack deals plus 20 damage. If you tip your hat, you got to tip your hat if you're the hatman. And there he is behind, too, again. Amazing. Charles Mill Lake Monster, Gravity Shift. Robo Flowers, Tin Foil Suit, love it, Casablanca Entities, Flare Up Baby, Whirling Wimpus, this looks like it could be out of, uh, out of uh, Wilderness, and an Ogua, 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 I think, Forest Friends, Friend Token, Lightning Storm, Earth Aura, throw this guy to the side, next pack, Gosh, there's a pretty good variety in this one. Um, the Supernova 6, I've realized I don't know which ones exactly those are. I think the T-Rex is one of them. Um, I think that the UFO is one. I think that yeah, the T-Rex, the UFO, the Flatwoods Monster. I'm not sure uh, which other ones would be in there. There's the forest friends. Lots of these guys. I know that pile. Magic Engineers Oil. That's a cool card. Earth Shattering Quake. Hidden Templars. Wolf Among Sheep. The Time Machine Blueprints. Here's an Accordion Eater. Okay. A go row, a whirling wimpus again, and 12, a mountain boomer. I don't know if I've seen the mountain boomer in a uh, in other cards. Maybe that's one of them too. I'll put them up there. I seem to be getting a pretty good, decent number of, pretty decent variety of cards. And again, crushing the hollows in this box. Coming in hot, Griddle Greaser, with that Fire Bunny. I, I, uh, I gave a card of that Fire Bunny to my son because he's really into bunnies. There's the UF, 
There's the Men in Black. Static Halt. Ooh, another Ogwa. Spirit Infusion Suit. Seed Tokens. Dark Aura. Hey, that's pretty cool. That is pretty sweet. Snowing Seed Token. Okay, dozing off. Invigorate. Look at this one. It's got a zap down there. I like that. Ocean Calls. Blighted Embers. A Dwarf Star. I like this one too. That's pretty sweet. Oh, oh, almost pulled it. Token Corrosion. And number seven, a Wacken Yan. That is cool. A Charles Mill Lake Monster. Felix Stow, Felix Stow, Fire Demon. Robo Flowers. Sherman Beasts. Crawfordsville Monster. Lebok Lights. Static Halt. There's another Pamela. A little bit of clumping, but uh, I'm okay with that. I get those two T-Rexes. And if there's a third T-Rex, wow. All I need is that. Actually, what I really want is that Men in Black. But uh, I don't think it's going to happen. I do wish that they had um, the Fresno Nightcrawler in this set. That would have been right up my alley. Even if they had a couple of really hard chase cards, like the Fresno Nightcrawlers and the Men in Black. And uh, yeah, the Reaper's Scythe is pretty sweet too. Ooh, uh, we've got another Van Meter. Van Meter's pretty sweet. Let's take a bunch of Van Meters. I don't even know the lore on that. I should read up on the Van Meter Visitor. Some sort of a pterodactyl with a laser shooting out of its head. Merging Flame, just that bunny. There's the old Say Brooks Blockheads. Speed Demon. Call of the Storm. Flare Up. Got a tinfoil hat and... Oh, another griddle greaser. Hey, I'll take that. I don't have many griddle greaser peats, and now I'm just crushing them lately. That is my third griddle greaser peat. That's cool. Okay. I think this is probably the best box I've opened. We will see. Put the stack over. Yeah. Put those darn men in black. So I don't know. Are they, like Maybe they're in just a different... Maybe you got to open a different part of the product to find those guys. I don't know where I could, where you look to find a, uh, where anybody else has found a Men in Black, a Men in Black card. You could comment, although the only people that watch these videos at this point are my friends and are only watching this to see if I get a shout out to them. Another Mountain Boomer. That's cool. Frozen Mountain Orb. Seed Token, Meteor Shower. Oh, cool. On the meteor shower, you can see there's the Flatwoods monster riding her down. And this is very seancey. I think they announced, too, that the Wendigo is going to be in the new native set. So I'm excited to see that. So in... I've got a couple of ideas uh, from my area of, of the world that I've always wanted to sort of send to MetaZoo, but I don't know if they take ideas. I've never gotten that deep into it. I've never tried to contact them, and I'm sure they they get ideas from people all the time, and I don't need to push them anymore. White Stag and a ma Magic Engineer's Oil. Second one in this box. I like that, though. Seed Token Mountain. Ooh, I didn't realize that this mountain, this is pretty cool. Check that out. It almost looks like a moon up there. Pretty eerie. Pretty eerie. Okay, we've got a bouldered bash. Hidden Templars. Wolf among sheep. The ocean calls. 
Accordion Eater. A Gao Rao. The Monster of Patridge Creek. And 21. Another Evil Winds. A couple of repeats here. Where did I have that Evil Winds guy sitting? I think it's on that pile. There's that Man in Black that I'm never going to pull. Oh, I want this card so, so bad. But I'm not going to get it. Not through this method, at least. Gosh, I want you. In Hollow. That would be the best thing ever. Number two. It would be a, it's a hard pull. That and that uh, big prism one or whatever it is. It's like a full aura. Old Saybrook's Blockhead. Seven Thunders. Blue Jet Strike. Dwarf Star. The green Fireballs. And number 12, another Mountain Boomer. Okay, your last four packs. I don't know what else I can do to get some more luck for that last card, but I think I'm I've already out of ideas. If I could just get that one card, I'd be so happy. Energy being. Whoa, too far. USO. The Leveland Rocket. Cool. I uh even though there's repeats, I think I I mean I expect that <laughs> we're getting so many hollows that you expect that to be there to be lots of repeats, but same time I get there's lots of repeats we're getting a pretty good variety in there even with all the, the repeating cards and the cards I'm getting uh, getting multiples of are actually pretty sweet cards Casablanca entities mysterious disappearance the resurrection from the afterlife 32 friends forest friends oh no it's opalescent moss interesting that's pretty sweet. Opalescent Moss. I don't have too many of those guys either. Okay, final two. Here we go. It's a quick booster box opening. Okay, Black Demon. Jolt in a Jug. Lightning Spark. Stargate Project. There's those men in black. They're just taunting me. Man, there's taunting the space penguin too. There they are again, brutally taunting me. Here you go, dude. Frost ring. Token corrosion. And a gargantian glider. This is pretty good uh, variety. If you were to get this box, like just this box, you'd have a really good variety of cards. Okay, a Charles Mill Lake Monster, a Headless Cannoneer, a Rogaroo, Trap Springer, Aqua Pura, Polybius, Resurrection from the Afterlife. Oof. Whoa, hey, that's pretty sweet. A UFO for the last one. That's a great way to end the box. I have such a collection of UFOs. It's actually... Uh, it's quite incredible. I'm so happy to add this one to it, too. I'll put them right in the sleeve. Okay, let's do a little roundup here of the favorite cards that were pulled today. All right, obviously, UFO. Look at that card. I've got so many of these guys. Is there a... No, that's not a line in it. I, th I always... I, every time I look at this card, I think this is a print line. It's not a print line. It's part of the art. I love this card. I love UFO. UFO is awesome. Next. I'm not even a huge fan of Griddle Greaser Pete. He's probably like the one... I, I question his uh, place in the MetaZoo universe. I'm sorry, Griddle Greaser. But I'm, ha I'm glad to have another one. Because now I have... Is it three? I think I have three now. Yeah, sweet. And this is the winner of the day right here. Look at that. Mini T-Rex. Finally, gotcha. Great. Happy to have you. Thanks for checking out my video. Um, there's going to be more and more stuff posted, and we'll go from there in the future. So, yeah, keep checking it out. Like and comment. Carter, if you're watching to this point, like and comment. Alan, like and comment. Just do it. Leah, like and comment. All right. Bye-bye.